My son, January the 10th, 2021, I was handed down a life sentence. I never get to see him again besides my stand-up, my pictures, videos popping up. Same way with my daughter. We don't have that anymore. It's sad. It really is because you have memories of, um, <laughs> like I said, not just my kids, other people. These are the boys, and it's, like I said, it's not a, a day that goes by uh, that I don't think about them. There has to be accountability. There has to be responsibility. And nobody is saying nobody has the right to bear arms. It's to make a safe community. Where they stop just the violence, that's the ultimate goal. And this is fatal and non-fatal shooting over the last three years. There is tons of expertise way beyond what we have, and we want to hear and partner with them. This is not the police being the hammer in this project. We are a collaborator. When you're dealing with a close to 50% poverty rate uh, in a black community, in a community that only makes up less than 10%, uh, of its entire population. You, you can't find no other cities like that in America. The hassle line. Of course, all these brothers, when they first it was like that. We have had a number of shootings in this area. December of last year, um, Germany Hines was actually murdered in this very spot. This was like the center of most of the violence in the city where most of the each side of town actually ran into each other right here. And it all came to a head most of the time right here. Like literally, I can think of three or four people that may have been killed right here on this sidewalk or right here in this parking lot right here. Like this area right here. Everybody know each other. Like my cousin lived in New York. I got cousins that live down that way. My auntie lived over there. I think Knoxville will be, will be safe when our kids are safe. And right now we're not there.